वेलकम टू द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डिस्टेंस एंड कॉन्टीन्यूइंग एजुकेशन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली मास्टर ऑफ बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एम बी ए सेमेस्टर वन कोर कोर्स एम बी ए एफ टी सिक्स वन जीरो एट इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी मैनेजमेंट लेसन नंबर टू इंडियन कंप्यूटिंग एनवायरमेंट टू पॉइंट वन लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिवस द टारगेट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज टू लर्न अबाउट इंटरनेट टेक्नोलॉजी विच हैज अ सिग्निफिकेंट इम्पैक्ट ऑन द फ्यूचर पॉइंट वन टू गेन असेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन इन द स्पेस ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग एनवायरमेंट विच पोर्ट्रेज इंटरनेट टेक्नोलॉजी इट्स की एरियाज एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड ऑन गोइंग एप्लीकेशन ट्रेंड्स इन द आई टी सेक्टर पॉइंट नंबर टू टू गेट फंडामेंटल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ आई टी इन बिजनेस गवर्नमेंट एंड सर्विस सेक्टर्स to grasp the extent of effects of it on the general public with its benefits and hindrances point number 4 to adapt the standards of versatile and remote innovation whose turn of events and applications are turning into the most noticeable parts of the present it 2.2 introduction our life has been influenced by technological development to a reasonable extent that has resulted in the emergence of a replacement of the international economy it has remodeled the globe into a worldwide village with a click of a button the answer to problem appears on the screen despite its excellence use some flaws must be corrected or else hackers or any wrong organization will play with the confidential information of many firms or people that is why it is necessary to grasp the it idea at ground level to avoid any circumstances of fraud information technology is the bedrock of current venture associations the term rotates on the bottom of computer framework programming web and different foundation that empowers an association center skills liberal associations read it as a superiority that allows them to figure out much intelligence and attain their business objectives our society has modified a good deal owing to significant advancement within the field of it that style the standard of our lives economic processes education social relationship etc the social group impacts of the it area deal with each negative and positive aspect technology and society go hand in hand and should complement one another they are the two sides of an identical coin 2.3 growth of it sector in india 2.3.1 it software and service industry information technology a knowledge based sector has enormous potential to stimulate economic growth boost overall economic productivity and facilitate effective governance it improves information access safeguard consumers give people access to government services increases the effectiveness of skill development and training effectiveness enhances healthcare service delivery and encourages transparency it offers excellent employment opportunities and connections between the government and the popular in rural and urban areas the extent of the nation leading position in the global economy over the next two decades will be determined by the investment in the knowledge based businesses 2.3.2 status of it software and service industry in india the indian it programming and administration industry has arisen as the quickest developing area in the indian economy with a development rate surpassing 50% in commodities and 40% in all out it industry throughout recent years india holds a 55% market share of the us dollar 200 to 250 billion global services sourcing industry in 2019 to 20 making it to the top sourcing location globally india standing in the 2021 edition of global innovation index increased by four spots to 46th place national association of software and service companies nascom reports that the indian it sector generated us dollar 227 billion in sales in financial year 22 representing a 15.5% growth Gartner forecasts that Indian IT spending will rise from an estimated US dollar 81.89 billion in 2021 to US dollar 101.8 billion in 2022. By 2025, it is anticipated that the Indian software products market will be worth 100 billion dollar. 
Indian businesses are concentrating on investing abroad to broaden their global reach and improve their global delivery hubs. The IT software and service industry has been categorized into three broad sectors. Point number one, software product and technology services. It gives the Indian software business a tremendous growth opportunity. The market for developing software products such as enterprise software, e-business solutions, ERP and e-corporate governance Consumer software, personal productivity tools, and embedded software is an open to Indian enterprises. Indian businesses have created many highly regarded and well-liked software packages including HR management and company accounting by TCS, banking automation, software by Infosys, ERP tools by Ranko, etc. Next point is IT services. IT services are transitioning from client server to the web and package based services. This will make up the bulk of the IT services. The most significant opportunity will continue to be in expansion of IT services. But other areas of the IT software industry will also play a significant role. The need for IT services domestically and internationally will increase quickly as new opportunities in management, consulting, application maintenance and internet services arise. The government banking and financial services, manufacturing, retail and distribution are the primary consumers of IT services. Communication, healthcare and utilities are likely to experience new developments due to the deregulation of these industries. However, top-notch personal, cutting-edge abilities, a top-notch telecom environment and environment based on IT knowledge are fundamental requirements of IT services. Next point is IT enabled services. The Indian IT sector has established itself as a significant growth driver for the country's IT sector and technology driven service sector. 70,000 people are employed in this sector, which grew from 2400 crores in 1999 to 2000 to rupees 4100 crores in 2002 2001. It includes a wide range of services, some of which include call center and other customer interaction services, back offices, revenue accounting, data input, data conversion and HR services, transcription and translation services, animation and content creation, additional service include network consulting, market research, GIS, data search and remote education. ITES has significant employment potential and a shorter gestation period than others IT related industries it demands consistent performance with high quality standards and a lot of human resources. In text questions. Number 1. What is the position of India in the Global Innovation Index 2021? Number 2. Economic trends include information relating to A. Consumer unemployment Point B. Productivity, capital investment etc. Point C. All are true Point D. None is true 2.4 Trends in IT and IT's sector. The IT industry is constantly evolving. This quick changing business has many new technologies, tools, software frameworks and creative concepts. In the present IT world, the development of every economy is connected with the development of data technology. The data innovation industry is encountering a blast more than ever, which is just the beginning. More brands are hoping to extend in this space. The world basic structure has changed due to the COVID-19 epidemic. The virus started in China in late December 2019 and has since spread to every continent and infected millions of people. Global economies have been shut down in response and various degrees of lockdown have been encouraged. One of the strictest lockdowns prohibiting the flow of people and products and essentially turning every city into a ghost town has probably been placed in India. The economy has been dealt a deadly blow due to such onerous limitation on movement. When the virus entered India, the nation was already experiencing difficulties due to a falling GDP growth rate and a widening fiscal imbalance. The lockdown has only made the financial situation worse, driving several enterprises and industry into a condition of moribundity. Other nations have seen a comparable situation, especially in the US and Europe, which were both center for virus transmission. However, a closer examination of the global economy reveals that several IT-related sectors appear to have experienced an 
upward mobilization these industries appear to have substantially expanded their operational footprint and generated sizable revenues if we examine how the global it and id's market is developing we can see that all areas that have succeeded throughout this challenging period have one thing in common adaptability these industry have chosen a more adaptable strategy for handling the lockdown they have not been afraid to alter the games rule whether through flexible working practices or the adoption of newer more technologically advanced working methods in keeping with the demands of our day let us examine a few of these tech related fields that have been successful in overcoming the shutdown point number 1 artificial intelligence and machine learning artificial intelligence and machine learning have taken center stage in the recent years in terms of new information technologies many multinational companies have started integrating ai and ml into their operations reaping noticeable advantages including enhanced customer experiences faster business processes fewer production concerns and increased profits semrush figures show that 86% of ceos expect artificial intelligence to be standard technology in their workplace by 2021 moreover in 2022 the tendency will continue to pick up speed more smbs will ensure that their development approach includes deep learning machine learning and artificial intelligence intelligent tools and algorithms will increase across various industries including manufacturing healthcare finance and education businesses that disregard or delay implementing artificial intelligence within the next 5 years run the danger of going out of business next point is social media social media is a web based connection among people it permits client to have discussions share data and make web content there are many types of web based entertainment for everyone's taste including online journals miniature sites wikis information communication destinations photograph sharing texting video sharing sites digital recording gadgets and virtual universes lockdown worldwide have kept people stuck at home with nothing to do as a result the social networking site reported a spike in user engagement during the lockdown period next point is data mining enterprises the lockdown has made all the differences for information mining organizations this restrictive expansion in the number of hours spent on web based and online platforms all over the planet has given these organization admittance to more extensive information arrangements than they could have ever imagined next point is cloud computing cloud computing has been rising for the last couple of years as the pandemic has made it the de facto king of computational services with a rising dependence on remote working the capacity to store information in one secure area has become essential next point is e-commerce social isolation measures have made it unimaginable for individuals to genuinely go out to shop for food and different necessities because of the apprehension about the transmission of the infection online businesses have been the genuine victors in this dilemma of worldwide commercialization with only expectations of cleanliness and at home convenience these locals have given a simple choice to retail locations next point is ott over the top platforms web based streaming stages like netflix prime and so forth comprise a generally more current way to deal with the diversion they had as of now in any case laid out a name for themselves before the lockdowns and became worldwide famous for the wide variety of shows and movies among a large set of different aged populations next point is video conferencing platforms we need everything over the internet and nobody wants to go out in the current scenario this fact is transforming into the new norm in our master culture learning family meetings etc also this work from home culture is preferred over full time office jobs in the current scenario sound or text yet video conferencing is the need today next point is mobile apps mobile apps and portable application have just filled in omnipresence and popularity throughout recent years this year they are surfacing in far superior ways by executing new assets that can make chipping away at the go more effective next point is automation automation is a pattern that is essentially catching assembling and creation areas 
and is supposed to increment further before long computerization has likewise empowered cycles to work quicker easing the human workload next point is artificial intelligence the previous year saw the presentation of a few new mechanisms of man made reasoning this year enterprises are taking different steps and measures by which they can develop these assets and carry out their work man made intellectual process is as of now seeing execution for a greater degree which is set to foster more or through the following couple of years next point is virtual reality the gaming business has forever been one that has encountered development close to the field of data innovation and computer generated reality has made this one stride further giving clients the actual encapsulation of advanced insight Computer generated reality gaming has previously became well known because of innovation which works on how the business can develop. Next point is cyber security. With the development of computerized mediums and innovation, the potential dangers that individuals can confront are just rising. Because of this cyber security and network safety has needed to develop broadly throughout recent years. Industries all around the world likewise understand the significance of putting resources into network protection which is why the field is experiencing growth at such a rapid pace. Next point is growth of internet of things network. The internet of things is the idea that all computerized gadgets are associated with a solitary medium through which one would have the option to control everything. More brands are starting to consolidate this idea and countering development at such quick speed so that they can gain more and more profit as the idea of internet of things is becoming vaster and vaster these days. Next point is rise of chatbots. Chatbots are a program to respond to detailed inquiries somehow or another are planned to help clients with a piece of the more fundamental capacities they would require. these are clearly still not in a position wherein they are complete substitute for genuine live clients care which has assisted them with the remaining development also there are a lot more fields like those referenced previously the end here is that it is inevitable that the it business regardless of its overall youthfulness and more settled areas will stay a central participant in the country's financial scene and continuous development and evolution in text questions point number 3 it is refers to a information technology enabled services b information technology and services c information technology enabled server d none of the above next question a type of dash based computing is cloud computing a internet of things b internet c bluetooth d big data next question is full form of vr is dash 2.5 applications of information technology with more advancements in innovation new organizations are made with more business innovation acts as the hero by making things simpler the two exist in something of a cooperative relationship that guarantees they will continuously coincide or coexist The role of information technology in the business environment is ever increasing. The application of IT is beneficial and profitable to organizations. 2.5.1 What is information technology? Information technology integrates the review and usage of PCs and any kind of transmission correspondence that store, recover, study, pass on, control information and send data. Data innovation includes a blend of equipment and programming to play out the fundamental errands and the role that individual needs and use on ordinary premise. There are many facets of information technology which are listed below. Point 1 Governance It refers to how working units implement operational boundaries and how individual use engineering organizations and IT frameworks. In plain English they approve the guidelines for how our group and we may use the organization intention and the purpose for which we may do so similar to information affirmation which the it office is also capable of this is crucial for additional it security the actual parts of information technology go under the equipment of it 
it incorporates setting up and keeping up with the hardware like telephone framework switches servers and pcs next point is infrastructure it alludes to any tangible elements required for an IT system. Depending on the requirements and size of the business, it includes hardware, network, and circuits of the equipment. Next point is functionality. It is conceivably the most significant and practical work an IT department performs and for the reason other departments within a company take notice of and remember an IT department. It includes designing and managing operational applications, creating, protecting, and storing the organization's electronic data, and aiding all functional areas of the company with software and data management. The creation and management of communications network for small and large enterprises are centered in the IT department. The importance of an effective IT department to a company's day-to-day -day operations can be seen in the fact that few businesses, large or small, could operate without one. Information technology assists every step from sending an email to changing a password, accessing database, and everything in between. The ultimate goal of an IT company is to increase productivity and efficiency. 2.5.2 Information Technology in Business Every business plan now includes information technology as a crucial and vital component. IT is used by various organizations including tiny enterprises with one computer and multinational corporations that manage mainframe systems and databases. The easiest way to understand the drivers behind computer technologies pervasive use in business is to examine how it is applied globally. Point number 1 Data and Information Security the primary objective of safeguarding is to keep data secure. The IT division will guarantee confidential information to prevent crucial data from being corrupted, compromised, or lost. IT must also ensure they adhere to data protection rules. Its criticality has further increased globally with the implementation of the General Data Protection Regulation by European Union. Examples of data breaches include information theft by hackers or data safeguarding which means that industry standard security measures are in place throughout the entire organization to guard against the loss, misuse, unauthorized disclosure, alteration, or destruction of data related to the company or team member, the misuse or sharing of personal information about a company's personnel. Next point is investigation of issues. In the digital sphere, problem solving is referred to as troubleshooting, repairing malfunctioning digital items, or processes on a PC or system is one example of how troubleshooting can be used. When a problem is troubleshot, a methodical and logical search is done for the problem cause to fix it and restore the process or product to full functionality. When something is incorrect, troubleshooting is also utilized to determine the symptoms. Database Maintenance Security the era of massive file rooms, rows of filing cabinets and document shipping are quickly passing by. Most businesses now keep digital copies of their documents on servers and storage gadgets. Everyone has immediate access to this document. No matter where they are located within the firm, employees profit from quick access to the data papers they need and businesses can store and manage a vast amount of historical data inexpensively. Next point is controlling cloud-based solution. A cloud-based solution is an on-demand service for nearly anything and everything we can store, such as computer network data, storage programs, or resources accessed through the internet and an outside provider's shared cloud computing infrastructure, servers accessible over the internet. Cloud-based solutions are used by both large and small businesses. From the neighborhood candle store to worldwide industry leaders like Microsoft and Google to maintain control over their virtual or physical offices and staff members. Next point is examine data. Specific data may be analyzed by information technology and using the trends and facts in the data can assist in planning the organizational journey appropriately. IT can effectively provide organizations with a wide range of tools to help them plan their future growth and overcome complex business challenges. Nowadays with everything moving online and people having constant access to the internet via their smartphone, 
businesses cannot survive without digital marketing the global market can be reached by firms using the internet digital marketing platform which they can access from the convenience of their own home and remote office effective communication we live in a time where we can often get in touch with company immediately understanding a customer's demand purchasing trends behaviors and satisfaction levels is crucial to a business success adequate and prompt communication is ideal for handling consumer request issues and solutions the beauty of information technology is that it enable companies to interact instantly and globally with millions of clients through it clients may communicate in a plethora of ways without ever leaving their homes these channels includes email social media conversations video call webinars member forums email newsletters and smartphone access 2.5.3 information technology in service organization the service industry is impacted by the market's increasing competitiveness and emphasis on client satisfaction following the conventional approach nevertheless does not always work for such situations as a result technology is increasingly being introduced to enhance the consumer experience many companies have been encouraged by the role technology plays in the service sector to cut back on wasteful cost and uncertainty additionally by minimizing client interaction the influence of technology on the service sector has been utilized to standardize the services more than only service automation and lower cost service delivery are benefits of technology's entry into the service sector additionally it allows us to collect examine and use client information to understand their wants better and satisfy them technology is defining not only the trend of consumer wants but also the ability of staff to receive and give their clients personalized service as is apparent technology has been the main driver of innovation in the service industry because of emerging technology automated voicemail interactive voice response system fax machines atms and other common place devices are conceivable point 1 quick access to services incorporating technology into services makes the task easier and provides customer with speedy and dependable service every stage of the process may be automated improving the entire customer experience while saving time and human labor thanks to technology a wide range of service are now at client's fingertips access to any information is made simple by digital transition customer may hunt for any service by conducting a simple internet search on their smartphone consequently we may use the search to get all relevant results and even save time next point improved method of service delivery every person whether a buyer or a merchant eventually has to adjust their everyday task the utilization of technology is now coming it could improve the interactions between service users and providers given the widespread adoption of technology it is reasonable to state that technology makes it easier to do fundamental customer service tasks like paying bill getting information reviewing financial records monitoring shipments etc however the emergence of automated voice response systems has enhanced the sector customer service similar to how technology has advanced and affected nearly every industry delivery service has also undergone significant changes next point is friendly interactions with customers companies in public and private sectors are heavily utilizing technology and working hard to develop friendly relationships with their clients distribution of products businesses frequently set up order terminals inventory management terminals and other technical devices on their clients premises This offers the consumer a wonderful experience and help the business incorporate a customer relationship. Every firm offers a range of facilities and service to help its clients advertise their businesses. However, thanks to technology, customer may now get services right at their doorstep without any wait time or lineups. Next point is services global reach. The customer's ability to access service globally has significantly grown with the introduction of technology in the service sector. 
द इंटरनेट इज अ वास्ट नेटवर्क दैट क्रॉसेस ऑल द जोग्राफिकल बाउंड्रीज एंड लिंक्स एवरी पर्सन टू द सर्विसेज ऑफर्ड एक्सेस टू द इंटरनेट एनेबल्स इंटरनेशनल ट्रैवल एंड द कन्वीनियंस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन कस्टमर सर्विस एंड ग्लोबल ट्रांजेक्शन्स थैंक्स टू टेक्नोलॉजी पीपल मे वर्क फ्रॉम होम फॉर एनी मल्टी नेशनल कॉरपोरेशन क्लाइंट लिविंग हैज इंक्रीज सिग्निफिकेंटली एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी बेस्ड सर्विस नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट इज ग्रेट सर्विस क्वालिटी थैंक्स टू टेक्नोलॉजी अ स्पेसिफिक कंज्यूमर मे गेट सर्विसेज दैट आर टेलर्ड टू देयर नीड्स दिस फॉर जिस स्ट्रॉन्ग कस्टमर टाइज एंड फॉस्टर ट्रस्ट इन बिजनेस एंड इट्स ऑफरिंग्स कस्टमर्स आर मोर डिपेंडेबल वैन यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी टू गेट सर्विसेज दैन मैनुअल एक्सेस सिंस सर्विसेज आर ईजी टू एक्सेस एंड ऑफ हाई क्वालिटी टू पॉइंट सिक्स ई कॉमर्स अ वेब बेस्ड बिजनेस वेब बेस्ड सेलिंग हैज चेंज इमेंसली सिंस इज स्टार्टेड द एडवांसमेंट एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ ई कॉमर्स ऑल्सो नोन एज एन ऑनलाइन बिजनेस इन इज सिंपलर टर्म्स is interesting and it is processing at an even rapid speed today e-commerce is trading labor and products utilizing the web and exchanging cash and information to finish deals it is otherwise called electronic trade or web business e-commerce mainly evolved during the pandemic enabling businesses to survive and thrive unlike a brick and mortar store running an e-commerce store does not require us to spend much money on the overhead and we can reach a global audience 2.6.1 introduction e-commerce works just like how a physical store works customers search their individual choice of e-commerce stores browse various products they want to buy and finally make a purchase the significant distinction is that they do not must get off their sofa to do so and the purchaser base is not restricted to a selected geographic place or region These web applications follow specific steps to sell their products to the customers. Those steps are as follows. Point number 1. Accept the order. As soon as the customer places an order, the e-commerce site will be alerted of an order being placed. The alert description will show the details of the respective order like the product name, company name, quality, quantity, etc. Number 2. Process the order. Next, the charge or payment is processed, the sale is logged. and the order is marked complete payment transactions are typically processed via what is referred to as a payment gateway which contains various mode for a payment to happen point number 3 ship the order shipping a product is considered the last step in this process it is to be ensured that the products are delivered to their correct and respective addresses the duration of the delivery process depends on the location these are various these are various examples of e-commerce businesses such as an online retail wholesale drop shipping subscription digital products physical products and services companies such as amazon flipkart lenskart mintra make my trip and many more provide e-commerce facilities 2.6.2 e-commerce business models there are various business plans because of what is sold and to whom these are three most ordinary and everyday models Point number 1 business to consumer this business sells items or administrations straightforwardly to the consumer the b2c e-commerce business is the most well known web based business type and covers an expensive cluster of items from clothing to daily needs instances of b2c web based business store incorporate amazon netflix and overstock point number 2 business to business When a business offers items or administrations to another business on the web it is viewed as b2b online business these organization could sell thing like office supplies furniture gear they also give online business arrangement such as archive marking programming and other cloud based administrations point number 3 marketplaces marketplaces or internet business commercial centers are sites where outsider shippers can offer their items and administration to consumers walmart.com and etsy are different instances of online marketplaces for a cut of deal we can list our items on their website and access their client bases 2.6.3 pros and cons of e-commerce as we know that every technology is not perfect it can be almost perfect but will have minor flaws let us examine some pros and cons of e-commerce trading table 2.1 
represents pros and cons of e-commerce pros are point number 1 it has fewer overhead cost than an actual store point number 2 compiles client information point number 3 it can be operated 24/7 with no staff point number 4 the business can scale on the fly point number 5 it has proven to be pandemic resilient point number 6 it is not difficult to follow the sales and shipments whereas cons are point number 1 lacks customized sales and personal touch point number 2 information debit and credit card extortion are widespread point number 3 it offers limited loyal customers point number 4 there are expenses for carrying on with work on the web point number 5 web based business is a ferocious business point number 6 clients need quick free delivery in text questions e-commerce is also known as point number a electric commerce point number b electronic commerce point number c entertainment commerce point number d electrochemical commerce next question which e-commerce category include businesses like flipkart amazon and mintra point number a b2b point number b B2C point number C P2P point number D C2B next question the idea of online marketing and purchasing goods and services is dash e-commerce 2.7 e-governance a smart administration electronic governance or e-governance suggest government working with the use of ICT thus e-governance is fundamentally a move towards smart administration in fairing straight forward moral responsible responsive and transparent administration for this reason a comprehensive resident administration portal should be set up with so many administrations like the issuance of general declarations administrations related to charges income transport permits and licenses and listing of various type benefits plan the government managed retirement and government assistance plans instructions preparation work lodging foundation monetary help plans businesses horticulture and other various administrations this will not just assist in carrying out e governance smoothly but will likewise teach and make an it culture in the perfect state there are four types of e governance interaction number 1 g2c government to citizens it refers to interaction between the government and the citizens the digital india program the national portal of india the prime minister of india portal aadhar online tax filing and payment digital land management system common entrance test etc some example of e governance with relation to the g2c number 2 g2b government to business it is an interaction between the business community and government using e governance tool a government website where businesses go to pay taxes is a prime example of g2b point number 3 g2g government to government it refers to interaction between various government entities example of g2g is the bhumi project a self sustaining e government initiative called bhumi automates the distribution of 20 million rural land records to the 6.7 million farmers in karnataka The Bhumi project was taken on and developed by the Karnataka state government in order to computerize all of Karnataka's land record this was done the state government of Karnataka and the ministry of rural development of the indian government however both co-sponsored the program point number 4 g2e government to employees interaction between the government and its employees e mitra e seva project cet common entrance test etc are some examples of the g2e governance 2.7.1 promoting e governance there are some steps taken to promote e governance in india's are as follows point number 1 in 1998 a national task force for information technology and software development was set up to promote digital plans that will benefit the future point number 2 the ministry of information technology was formed at the center in 1999 Point number three: A twelve-point plan was recorded for e-governance for execution in every one of the focal service and divisions. Point number four: The Information Technology Act, two thousand, was authorized. This act was corrected in two thousand eight. Point number five: 
द प्राइमरी नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ स्टेट आई टी मिनिस्टर वॉज कोडिनेटेड इन टू थाउजेंड फॉर शोइंग अप एट अ कॉमन एक्शन प्लान टू एडवांस आई टी इन इंडिया पॉइंट नंबर सिक्स द गवर्नमेंट सेट अप एन आई एस जी नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ स्मार्ट गवर्नमेंट वेयर दे कैन ट्रेन द ऑफिशियल टू यूज डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स पॉइंट नंबर सेवन द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर सेंट ऑफ ई गवर्नेंस प्रोजेक्ट लाइक सेवा आंध्र प्रदेश भूमि कर्नाटका एक्सेट्रा पॉइंट नंबर एट द नेशनल पॉलिसी ऑन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी वॉज एम्ब्रेज इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नंबर नाइन द नेशनल ई गवर्नेंस प्लान वॉज लॉन्च कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ थर्टी वन मिशन मोड प्रोजेक्ट एंड एट सपोर्ट कॉम्पोनेंट दिस प्रोजेक्ट गिवस अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव परस्पेक्टिव ऑन ई गवर्नेंस ड्राइव अक्रॉस द नेशन Around this thought, a monstrous countrywide foundation arriving down to the remotes of town is developing, and colossal scope digitization of records is occurring to empower simple, dependable access to the web. The government has proposed to carry out e-kranti national e-governance plan 2.0 under the Digital India program. 2.7.2 e-kranti electronic delivery of services. E Kranti is a fundamental mainstay of the Digital India Drive, considering the essential requirement for e-governance, portable governance, and excellence governance in the country. The methodology and critical parts of E Kranti have been supported by the public authority and approved by the government. The E Kranti structure tends to the electronic conveyance of administrations through an arrangement of mission mode projects that cut across few government divisions. objectives of e kranti point number 1 rethink negp with ground breaking and result arranged e governance drives point number 2 improve the arrangement of resident driven administrations point number 3 guarantee ideal use of center information and communication technology point number 4 advance quick replication and mix of e governance applications point number 5 influence rising advancements point number 6 utilize more coordinated execution models like agile implementation 2.7.3 advantages of e governance point number 1 develops convenience and productivity of tax payer driven organizations point number 2 developed governance connections with business and industry point number 3 resident strengthening through admittance of data point number 4 more efficient government administration and high transparency among officials point number 5 cost decreases and income increases point number 6 expanded authenticity of government point number 7 diminishes desk work and red tapeism in the authoritative cycle which brings about better preparation and coordination between various degrees of government point number 8 developed relations between the public specialist and everyday society in text questions number 9 e governance is a technology that progresses a accountability b the efficiency of government processes c transparency d all of the above question number 10 e governance has four types of interactions namely point number a e to g e to e e to w e to b point number b G to C, G to B, G to E, G to G. Point number C, G to A, G to R, G to W, G to G. Point number D, G to E, G to G, G to P, G to R. Question number eleven. The national policy on information technology was embraced in dash. Question number twelve. The idea behind e kranti is a. more crop per drop b one stop service center c changing the face of rural india electronic way d transforming e governance for transforming governance 2.8 latest developments in information technology technology is quickly developing more technical evolution is notably made possible by developments in information technology such as artificial intelligence geo targeting automation and others even our thermostats and refrigerators can be made connected to the internet as robotics become smarter some of the advancements are stated below point number 1 artificial intelligence and machine learning in the past artificial intelligence and machine learning represented computer science bleeding edge 
when these technologies were developed in the 20th century they primarily served academic purpose and had few practical uses these technologies however developed applications throughout time and are today among the most recent in computer science they have been made it into the hands of regular people via mobile phones a computer science area known as machine learning uses an algorithm to predict future data based on already created data the advancement of machine learning into artificial intelligence allows an algorithm to acquire knowledge based on data and even perform necessary task independently point number 2 data science data science is a more recent advancement in computer science data science was the hottest topic for much of the 21st century decades data science is a more recent advancement in computer science data science was the hottest topic for much of the 21st century first decade the data science field has existed for much longer than the last 20 months data analysis has been crucial for businesses the government organizations and departments for millennia data analysis is helpful for understanding process effectiveness surveying the workforce and assessing the overall mood among the populace today however a lot of data analysis is done digitally one of the earliest task for which computers were used for data analysis data analysis was so standard in the early 2000 that school started offering introductory courses on the topic having a profession in data science has the advantage of making us an integral part of the company's entire operation regardless of the industry our company operates in any organization we work with will likely use the data we provide and interpretations we offer as an essential component of their business plan data science is frequently used in retail and e-commerce to assess the effectiveness of campaign and the overall trajectory of the expansion of different items this in return aids in creating plans for the promotion of certain items and product categories healthcare data informatics may be crucial in offering affordable alternatives and packages to patients and enabling clinicians to select the most effective but safe therapies point number 3 full stack development one of the most popular and in demand technologies of 2021 will undoubtedly be full stack development which refers to creating both client side and server side software beginning with the dot com boom the internet a relatively recent phenomena began to permeate the household worldwide back then websites were little more than plain web pages and web development was not the sophisticated discipline it is today nowadays both a front end and a back end are used in web development website consist of a client side or the website we view and a server side or the website that the business manages particularly in industry connected to services like retail and e-commerce point number 4 robotic process automation robots are simply one aspect of robot process automation more than anything else it is about automating procedures most procedures required some human involvement before computers individuals operated even the manufacturing machinery and massive production employed thousands of people however as computers have mostly replaced manual labor manufacturing has also been affected automation is increasingly used in all industries including manufacturing and information technology the amount of human involvement in these processes is steadily declining and this pattern is probably here to stay robotic process automation jobs frequently require a substantial level of coding expertise typically we would need to build code to enable automated human free completion of computerized or non computerized procedures point number 5 blockchain recently blockchain has come up in conversation primarily concerning cryptocurrencies however blockchain technologies has developed to have a variety of uses because blockchain is consensus driven it is essential to note that no single party has complete control over it the information we keep on the blockchain frequently used to share medical data in the healthcare sector can not ever be changed this data may be distributed among parties very quickly because blockchain technology offers security blockchain technology is also used to protect payment security systems external assaults and theft are extremely difficult to commit against blockchain based payment systems additionally a supply chain may utilize the blockchain to track the status of its items 2.9 e-governance as a social transformational tool 
A recent couple of years have seen a gigantic blast in information technology worldwide. The conversation of hardware and broadcast communications has opened new vistas of transmission, storing and recovering of data which was never expected. These are by and large progressively utilized for navigation in the corporate world and even in policy implementation. The rising population and its monstrous weight on community conveniences and the financial framework are far from imagination. With this change, e-governance becomes a need as well as a necessary piece of every country. E-governance drives in India have customarily been defied with the double difficulties of robotic government divisions and taking web-based administrations to the average citizens. E-governance has moved past government divisions. It is tied in with changing how states work and re-examining individual support in the popularity-based process. E-governance gives a stage to coordinate arrangements and administrations between government to citizens, government to business, and government to government, engaging both the government authority and the citizens. 2.9.1 ICT The Revolution Building trust among state-run administrations and citizens is crucial to excellent administration and information and communications technology. It is continuously becoming a fundamental instrument for advancing responsibility, comfort, and straightforward administration. States around the country are pushing hard to send data and innovation in their activities. From using ICT for races, registration, and mechanizing all the public authority workplaces to computerized storage spaces, e-transportation, e-health, e-education, and e-taxation. The new India has cleared its direction in the domain of e-governance. The public authority is working with partners to construct India on this progressive dynamism to extend, augment, and scale up its computerized economy before long, making enormous economic worth and engaging many individuals across varying backgrounds. Various plans presented by the public authority like Jan Dhan Yojana to give financial incorporation to unbanked individuals have empowered banking, benefits and protection, Atal Pension Yojana, administrations to ordinary residents accordingly careful engaging the residents. 2.9.2 E-Governance in various fields The framework brings together administration of things, for example, ongoing security and traffic camera film, ambulances, GPS data, temperature, humidity level, water levels, smart foundation and horticulture sensors and air contamination information in every territory around the state. And afterward imagines the information which is then utilized in risk scanning. For instance, when a typhoon hits, the water levels of a steam can be evaluated and prompt directions to clear can be given to those in danger utilizing the prediction ability. Further, as set of experiences develops, it offers input for the following time when the examination is directed. Catastrophe reaction precision has improved decisively and routinely dependent exclusively upon human experience. The framework can likewise be utilized to increment farming efficiency by introducing and halfway overseeing water level, sensors in water system, trenches to handle the dry season or flood harm and to forestall harm to agriculture fields and crops. Moreover, soil, climate and water system conditions can be applied to the calculation, making it conceivable to decide the ideal yield for each plot of land and increment the reap. 2.9.3 Financial Tool With private and public area activity, advancing computerized use, financial innovation, advancement has developed quickly. India's widespread bank have likewise determined massive advanced development across economic administrations. Their controller, the Reserve Bank of India, illustrates potential strides for the reception of blockchain innovations in the financial area. To screen the dangers and security episodes overwhelmingly, the organization incorporated Identity Access Management and SIEM, Security Incident and Event Management Solution into the digital structure, thus is contribute carefully to safeguarding the primary financial data in the developing computerized network situation. Guaranteeing a large number of residents in distant areas across India, 
admittance to very protected and dependable computerized financial offices and giving a powerful channel to constant financial exchanges with the initialization of the government e governments methodology it has been excellent sync with people public authority drives to remain open to different potential outcomes and a large scale point of view this result in another degree of e governance centered on expanding financial development and working on the existence of residents hence we can bring up that e administration is a vital component of good governance for agriculture countries like india to decrease corruption and give compelling and productive or perhaps quality administrations to the residents of theirs adjustments to government processes for example by regular decentralization to upgrade adequacy and productivity to save cost e governance is as of now not a trial in regulatory change but a super durable piece of the overseeing system e governance permit continuous cooperation in the majority rule and legislative cycles it ensures much better arrangement results better quality administration and higher commitment to residents these might be internet provider and data that improve popularity based on support straight forwardness responsibility quality and speed of administration 2.10 summary information technology assumes an undeniably significant part in citizens work and individual existences pcs communication computerized data and programming the constituents of the data age are all over the place However, along with this, there is a need to understand the IT sector's working and growth. Information technology has great potential as a means of accelerating economic growth, increasing productivity in all sectors of the economy, and effective governance. The application of IT is beneficial and profitable to organizations in the respective e-commerce and e-governance fields. The latest innovations have helped the nation build a robust infrastructure and economy. thus creating more opportunities for the youth for the betterment of the country on the digital path thank you for listening